Hey guys, it's BSRC here for RC Nightmare. Today we are unboxing the Emacs, not just any Emacs, but the Brushless Edition Emacs. The only one you should buy, right? Uh, this truck is not new. Obviously, Emacs has been out for quite a while. We've gone through many generations over the years. This is the latest and greatest one. So they've teamed up with Chaos Creations to put the Mamba Monster system in here for us, as well as tune it up to do a few, uh, few new performance mods, well-needed mods for the Emacs to handle the torque of that Mamba Monster. So let's open it up, take a look. Now, since they've released the Brushless Edition, Traxxas has completely revamped the chassis design on this one. Back in the day, we had an old chassis style that was just terrible. Not a whole lot of people were, uh, were fans of that. And so, now, Traxxas engineers have done their work, and we have this. Obviously, with every RC vehicle you get, the standard bag of parts, uh, Traxxas includes all your manuals, and here we got all sorts of tools to work on it. Actually, quite a few tools. Different battery straps, that's kind of nice. Extended straps, foam pieces, and your shock parts. A lot of it useless, but a lot of it good. Don't always throw that away. This truck comes with the new 2.4 gigahertz link radio. Not much to see in the box here. Let's see if I can't pull her out. Well, it's pretty taped up, but she's snuck in there. You guys all know what a remote is. That's the new link radio, programmable features on it, model memory, all that good stuff. And the Emacs. The Emacs, here she is. Huge. Uh, now we got the six inch tires. Traxxas has finally gone to 17 millimeter hubs, which is great. Now we can run standard A scale rims and tire combinations in here without having to upgrade. It's usually, I don't know, $60 upgrade to get that. So excellent, excellent feature. Here she is. Um, the biggest change on the chassis has been the battery layout. Traxxas has sunk down the batteries quite a bit. You can see they kind of sit at an angle quite a bit lower. Um, again, trying to tuck in all the weight towards the center and as low as possible. So that's really nice. Obviously we have the twin steering servos. These are the digitals, so you got a combined torque of 250 ounce inches. Great for monster trucks with the huge tires. Um, new transmission. This is the same one, I believe, that's out of the E-Rebo. Uh, they revamped all that again to handle the torque of the model monster. I've never had an issue with these transmission stripping gears before, even with the giant tires. Um, all the waterproof goodies, even though this system, because it's from Castle, not from Traxxas, this system is not waterproof. Now, you can waterproof it yourself at your own risk. At RC Nightmare, we've tried it. Not great success. You've got to really be careful when you're talking about waterproofing. Most of the time, it's safer just to tie it in a bag and keep it, try to keep it dry, you know, not go in for water. Or if you absolutely have to, stick on a big brush motor for your water running. So this system, not waterproof, but everything else is. Waterproof receiver box, again, the 2.4 gigahertz radio. Nice and short antenna, which is always nice to have, not getting in the way. Um, this system obviously runs two batteries, as you can see. If you want to get the full potential out of the Mamba Monster, you can run up to a six cell light bulb. So that's about 25 volts all up. Something to keep in mind when you're buying because you do need two batteries. So if you're going LiPo, double up on batteries and chargers. Wheelie bar included right in the kit. Well needed for this truck, although probably, probably not used a whole lot. The torque on this thing is just ridiculous. Instead of wheeling, you're usually doing a complete backflip and landing on the wheels again. I've seen it before. They did beef up the drivetrain. So now we have their oversized, I'm going to try to get this in the picture here. Oversized axles, these are still plastic, yes, but they are at least a little bit larger. They can handle quite a bit of the torque. They're sealed, you can see the boots on there. And the pivot ball joints are all sealed out. They got blue boots sealing out all the pivot joints. Again, reminiscent of Traxxas waterproofing. So, great product. This is support, supported 100% by Castle. You can plug this in, the uh, ESC, the Mama Monster ESC, into your computer for programming, just like you can the normal version. This is kind of a special edition one. It's blacked out. It's kind of stealth style. Shorter wires, something that Trax has hooked up with Castle to make it unique to this truck. Nice mount there to hold it down. Really great truck overall. Um, a few little things to note on the bottom side. They've added the center skid plate, which a lot of people called for for quite a while, and these beefed up lower chassis plates. These are kind of what hold everything rigid, and the old style was a little weak. Now, the only complaint I have, and this is kind of true for all the Max trucks over the years, is the same bulkhead design, and Traxxas has yet to upgrade it. This is something you almost immediately go with aluminum. These front bulkheads that take all the front hits tend to split. 
Um, all the arms are held onto it, and that whole assembly is then bolted to the chassis, so the bulkheads kind of hold all the power. Um, RPM front bumpers are going to be a must eventually. RPM skid plates, obviously there's endless aftermarket for it, but for any Max truck, that's almost a must have. You're going to break that eventually, and once you do, you're going to want to go aluminum. Other than that, not much else to say about it. Just an all around crazy powerful truck, finally set up to handle the true power that these systems have to handle, have to deliver, and really, we're excited to try it. I mean, we have the Summit already, but the gearing on a Summit is so much lower. This thing's built for speed. So with this Mamba system, we're really excited to try it out. We'll probably end up throwing a five cell on it to start, double up another five cells to get some crazy run times, maybe push it to six S later for you guys, but really awesome, awesome power. So there you have it. This is the new Traxxas Emax brushless edition. If you go brushed, a bit cheaper, but not nearly as fun. So obviously we had to get this one. Our local hobby town in Germantown hooked us up with this. We're excited to try it out, get some running videos for you guys. If you have any questions about this truck, just comment below or post up at RC Nightmare Forums. We'll get all your questions answered there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.